Hey everybody, Kit here, and welcome back to another episode of Andy Brooks, part of the Brooks Legacy Generation 2. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything to say other than Strangerville is officially in full swing, and I hope you're having a great week. Let's get into it. So this house is going to be quite the ordeal to clean up. Turns out the appliances also suck and the countertops are old. Like refurbished to look new but the hinges are barely hanging on old. Then there are the pets. They stare at the walls and sing constantly. Singing the song of their people I guess but Zoe I do not want to hear you at 3 in the morning when I gotta be up at 6 a.m. all right? I keep trying to figure out what they're on about, but I never find anything. Then there's the water damage everywhere. In a desert. And what might be some strange plant or vine damage. I found some of it under the old bed before I emptied my room. It's a strange purple pink vine and it glows. It snuck up through the baseboards and I'm assuming the inside of the walls? I don't know. I pulled it out and it, it, it went a long way. Gave easily though. Hope has some under her floors peeking out in her room too, but she told me it's fine to leave it alone. She'll handle it. She wants to take pictures or something. Great writing material, she says. All right, strange, but fine, I guess. I don't have too much time to think about it, honestly, because I'm about to start my career in the military. Today was a long but great first day. I actually got promoted to Sergeant Minor on my first day. Yes, I took a little ribbing for my last name, but my athletic prowess really helped me during the 100 push-ups, then the mile-long ruck, um, and thank goodness I know how to say yes, sir. <laughs> Just, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, over and over again. However, I did have to remake a bed five times. Don't ask. Even though Hope and I were going to the Spice Fest in San Maishino later, she texted me to meet her at the library, and I was apprehensive at best. I'd been warned off the library by my fellow enlisted. It was the place where weird conspiracy theorists were, wore kitchen strainers and said the military was doing weird stuff. There were definitely weirdos here. Basement dwellers, as my Sarge calls them. Why was help here? Surely there was a better place to get to know people. Like the bar? But we finally got to the Spice Festival, and I got to eat lots of food. I'm starving. Hope literally just wanted to come here for the food. Then, with a weird, conspiring smile on her face, she said, Hey, let's go to the military bar. It's not too late, right? What is she on about? But sure, yeah. Let's go, I guess. Next step for me, practice my salute. Apparently my right hand is not at a perfect ram ramrod straight angle. Then I practice sparring, seeing a weird mask like that plant I ripped up the other day on the machine. Where was Hope, you might ask? Chit-chatting and pestering my fellow military about what I can only assume are fishing questions for better stories. <sighs> I hope I don't get into trouble. And at the end of a very exciting day for me, I got to share my new adventures with my twin. She spent the day exploring the, the town and getting ideas for new books, and I spent my day doing push-ups and learning how to make a bed properly. Properly? Like how? Straight and proper, apparently. We continued talking about our new lives and experiences well into the morning, finally hitting the hay way later than we should have. I tossed and turned, exhausted from my first day, but too excited to sleep. Both of us were cranky for breakfast, a strange smell permeating the air. 
I happen to have the day off, which is great because I am exhausted. As Hope disappeared to her room, something strange caught my eye outside. Someone doing a weird Simstagram dance, perhaps? Hope's publisher sent her a new weird computer setup, by the way. I don't think it's for writing. No, I am not spying on my sister. I am doing our laundry. We didn't bring our laundry machines with us, so we get to do it the old sim way. I did get to bring this, though. It fits in the weird basement. Hope had this up her sleeve, didn't she? <laughs> so I get to do some working out when I am home. Maybe one day I will actually get to climb a rock wall. This is my favorite spot in the house by far. It doesn't smell out here. It isn't itty bitty. And the view is beautiful. It's peaceful. Hope left all day. Then she came back and went straight to her room without a word. I'll have to corner her later to try to see what the heck she is up to. I painted for hours, lost in the atmosphere and the blank canvas. But something in the horizon caught my eye. Out in that desert. There was a strange purple glow coming from the crater. My stomach cramped ever so slightly. It looked so weird, but by now I know better than to ask questions. It is way above my pay grade. The next morning I didn't tell Hope of what I had seen. I am far too concerned that she is too investigative for her own good. I think her adventurous, inquisitive side is surprising both of us. I have been told not very much about the crater, but I have been told to not answer any questions on it, not even if family asks me. Not that I know anything anyway. It is a weird thing, but it's likely just mad scientists or something, you know? But I have a job to do, and that means keep my mouth shut. After a few days of hard work, I managed to track Hope down long enough to get some answers out of her. She says she has been meeting some new people, the conspiracy weirdos I had been warned off of. I tried telling her the same, but she wouldn't hear of it. She says they are onto something, that there is a strange crater in the desert. Do I know anything about that? No. The lie burned my tongue. Well, what about the strange labs there? Hope, that's dangerous and trespassing. There is something there, Andy, and your military personnel are acting strangely. Hope, stop it. You will cause trouble for me. There is nothing there. I don't believe that, and Andy, we both know you are too low on the totem pole to know that for a fact or not. But open your eyes, brother. There are people walking around town strangely, acting odd, robotic, possessed. Enough, Hope. Stop it. There is no weird things happening here. Get your head out of the clouds, dang it. I stomped off after that. But the problem is, is that she's right. I have seen the strange robotic dance. But it has to be just a weird social trend, right? Right? Oh boy, alright. Um, bit of a longer, meatier one for you guys after several shorter ones. I think they're going to be kind of longer and meatier uh, from now on, at least for the Stranger Belt arc. But yeah, whew. <laughs> Andy and Hope are button heads a little bit. <laughs> Andy is highly suspicious of what Hope is doing. He doesn't like what she's doing, and... She's pressing for answers, and he's been told to keep his mouth shut. He's really liking his job. He doesn't want to lose it. Um, showing a little bit of a naive streak a little bit. Yeah. Um, hmm. Strangerville's just getting stranger, huh? But anyway, guys, um, if you want to know what Hope has been up to, tune in for her episode tomorrow. Um... 
and uh, yeah, oh boy, <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what's going on, anyway, uh, guys, I hope you had a great week, hopefully you enjoyed this, um, gosh, memory, the memories, I played this so long ago, but golly, I, ah, memories, <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm having fun with it, so that's a bonus. And um, yeah, I don't really have anything else, so have a great week. See y'all possibly next time. Who knows? It's really up to you guys. And don't forget, where waters flow, legacies grow. Bye!